I want to address this thing about people who kind of doubt that Christ actually lived. First of all, first of all, the calendar is based off of Christ. You have to be able to convince yourself that Yahushua actually lived. And not only that he actually lived, but he died. The nation of Israel, the nation of Israel did not always live in Israel. And I'm not talking about modern day Israelites who live in Israel next to Palestine and no, the Middle East, no. Go back in time. Before the Israelites came from Egypt, first of all, there is more than enough evidence that the Israelites were in Egypt as slaves. The evidence is there. If you don't know, you're not doing your due diligence to find the truth. Okay, I can't explain everything in this video. The Israelites lived there. And they say, oh, there's no evidence of um, them going through Mount Sinai or the wilderness. Yes, there is. <laughs> Look for it. Okay. The Canaanites lived in the land of Canaan. Then all of a sudden, these Canaanites were exterminated and a different culture came to inhabit the land of Canaan. The evidence is there. Like, like the, um, the customs of what the, tr the traditional people of Canaan did changed all of a sudden at a certain era in time where a new group of people came. Now, this new group of people served one God instead of the Canaanites who served multiple gods. Now, these people, they also were removed after a certain period of time. Why? Because God punished them because they started worshiping the Baals. The, the, archaeolog the archaeological evidences are there, okay? They were taken to Babylon. The evidence of these same people being in Babylon is there. They were also taken to Assyria. The evidence of these people taken to Assyria is also there. Then they came back to rebuild Jerusalem. That evidence is also there. Okay, so who are these people? Who are these people that came to inhabit the land of Canaan? Then all of a sudden, they were taken to a different place and then came back to rebuild their land. Come on, people. Okay. Then someone comes who is called the Messiah, Yahushua, right? And he prophesies that this temple will be destroyed. Then 40 years after this Yahushua dies... 40 years, we know 40 years is a generation according to the Bible. 40 years after Christ dies, he dies in 32 AD or 33 AD. Why is the calendar built after the death of Christ and before the people, okay? 32 AD, when Christ was 32 years old or 33, he dies. 40 years after that, in 70 AD, the Romans come and destroy the temple of Jerusalem. When Christ prophesied it would happen, okay? 70 AD. This is his this is historical people. So where is the doubt? Why are you doubting? Okay. Check the time. Let's talk about another another thing. The the the, the followers of Christ were liter literally like sheep. They were very timid. They were scared. Peter Peter denied Christ three times. They all left Christ when they came when they, when the, when the Romans came to capture Christ. Okay, they were scared out of their minds. All right, they were very timid people. But this was going to glorify God later because evidence shows that they were scared people. Then all of a sudden, these same people who were scared. Now this is history, people. All of a sudden, these people that were scared to even acknowledge that they were followers of Christ. All of a sudden, after Christ died, one historian said this. I was not there to say that I saw Christ. There is no, there was no YouTube to record anything. Okay. Everything is just hearsay. But he must have existed. Why? Because what could change a bunch of scaredy cats so scared to acknowledge Christ then all of a sudden when Christ dies they become so emboldened to the point where even in the face of death they preached in the face of death they preached the Roman Colise the Roman Colosseum 
where the, the first century Christians were martyred, this is history. These Christians were killed and they would not deny Christ and they would not deny Yehovah, the God of Christ. So what could have changed to motivate these people who were at one point in time so scared and now they are so bold, even in the face of death, they would not deny Christ and they would keep preaching in the face of death. So the historians are saying he must have existed because people don't just change overnight like that. So they must have seen Christ resurrected. They must have seen something, that something supernatural that, that made them convinced that Christ lived. So again, you have to look at all these things for yourself. Don't be in your room going to work distracted by the day-to-day -day life so that you miss out on the glory of the existence of Christ and his father. Don't do that to yourself. <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, I, I spoke about a lot of things in this video. I don't even know what I'm going to title this video. <laughs> but um, hopefully you watched it to the end. And I know I'm missing a couple of things, but it's okay. It, 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 whatever I've spoken is what God has put in my heart, I believe, to speak. If I've left anything out, then it's okay with God because he allowed me to leave it out. So, all right, y'all.